Hi, my name's Mike Sieschalski. I'm a molecular immunology PhD here in the Department of Neuro-Oncology at Roswell Park. Uh, we were studying the Cervax M vaccine and developing different types of immunotherapy for glioblastoma and other cancers. Cervax M is an immunotherapy that was developed here at Roswell Park and continues to be developed through clinical trials at Roswell for glioblastoma. Cervax M is an immunotherapeutic peptide vaccine that targets a protein on tumor cells called Survivin. Uh, this is a protein that gives the cells their ability to grow and divide out of control. And taking a vaccine to target that protein gives us an advantage to prevent those cells from growing. The vaccine will stimulate CD8 and CD4 T cells in patients' own body, and those cells will home into the tumor and hopefully kill the tumor cells. At the same time, the vaccine is producing antibodies, which are attacking the tumor in a whole different way, using a different arm of the immune system. And we see both the antibody arms and the cellular arms of the immune system working together in concert to give a very robust immune response against the tumor cells. Cervaxum is a very uh, easy to administer drug. It's uh, provided as a uh, injection under the skin. Patients come in, get an injection in the arm or leg, similar to getting the flu vaccine, and they go home. Um, they get four injections every few weeks and then come back every few months for a booster after that. It's a very straightforward, easy uh, protocol. The Cervax M phase two clinical trial for newly diagnosed glioblastoma has shown us that there's been an increase in median progression free survival from about four months expected for those taking standard of care to over 12 months for those receiving the vaccine. In fact, the overall survival has increased from about 15 months for those on standard of care to over 30 months for those receiving the Cervax M vaccine. Ideally, we'd like to see Cervax M treating as many forms of cancer as possible. We know that Cervivin is expressed in breast and prostate cancers, um, as well as certain leukemias and lymphomas. So we see a very wide potential for use of this vaccine.